Welcome to Pixel Composer tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use fluid simulation node groups to create a real-time fluid simulation. So let's begin. Fluid simulation node group is a new feature introduced in Pixel Composer 1.12. So here we are on version 1.12.2 and can be accessed by right-click, go to the generate and scroll down to the fluid sim. Double-click in it and you can see it already generates some basic node for you. The first thing you will notice is this icon. Right, this junction is called fluid domain. So fluid domain is basically an area where the simulation will happen. In this case, this fluid domain are being created by a node called fluid domain. Clicking on it, you will see all the properties relating to this domain. You have to take notice of these dimension values and you want to make sure that this dimension and this render domain share the same values. Another node here is the update fluid. This node is required before the render node to update one step of the fluid simulation. And then in this render domain, it will just get the domain values and then render it out to a surface. If you press start here, you press play here, you're not gonna see anything because this domain doesn't have any fluid yet. So we can create a new fluid object by right click on this connection. And in this fluid sim, you will see this option to create or add fluid. Now we click on it and nothing will happen still because we don't have the fluid brush. Right, the fluid brush is basically a shape of fluid you want to create. In this case, we just want a basic circle, so we can just go to the default asset here. And then you can move this fluid brush. You can hold control to snap the value to the nearest pixel. And now you try to play it. Well, you can see there are fluid here now, but there's no movement, there's no simulation, right? The simplest thing you can do is you can add acceleration into the domain itself. When you click on this fluid domain, you will see this acceleration. Right, you can add, like for example, negative 0 0.2. In this case, negative means the up direction. And just by adding acceleration to the domain itself, when you try to play it, it will now simulating an upward acceleration. The next thing we can do is, of course, we can go to this add fluid node, right? There is this active option. So we only gonna make it active in the first 10 frame, right? And then increase the animation length a little bit. Now you can run the animation and you just create a, you know, simple smoke, right? But what if you want to create a more complex fluid simulation? Again, you can right click. You can see it in this fluid sim option, there are a lot of other nodes in here to play around. The first four in the system group here is what you can see here, the fluid domain itself. You can create new domain for multiple types of fluid. Update domain, you only need one update node. You can also add two update nodes. It is possible, but what will happen here is, as you can see, the animation will run twice as fast because it's update twice per frame. Uh, you shouldn't do this. You can just speed up the animation itself. I don't think there's any use for this. This render domain will get the domain and render it out. In the fluid domain node, there is this property called collision, which means you can provide like the map or the overall collision shape for your domain. Like for example, I can add. Then we can use this as a collision map for our domain. What happened here is just gonna mean that our fluid will be contained in this frame, in this pixel but the collision itself doesn't get drawn because in the render domain here, we disable this draw domain. If we enable it, it's just gonna display the domain collision. Then we have the add fluid. As we can see already, you can animate the position of this add fluid, just like any other values, right? Okay, and now you try to move fluid, right? But the fluid doesn't, you know, it doesn't spread out. It doesn't act like how it should be because there is no velocity here. You can fix this by going to this inherit velocity. If you increase this value, you're gonna see now that the fluid start to move in the direction that it's trying to move, right? And you can also make this value an uh, inward. It just means that the velocity of the fluid will go in the opposite direction as the, as the fluid itself. There are also other ways to add velocity to our fluid by using the apply velocity node. Here, yeah, just like the add fluid node, this node also requires a brush. And we can set the velocity here. We can make the like negative one. It's just gonna move it up right oh, really fast. Just like how you can add the acceleration in the fluid domain itself. Yeah, you can just move it around. It will just apply velocity in the area where your brush is. Another node is at collider, which is similar to when you add the collider to the fluid domain itself. You can also add collider after the domain generation as well. Here you can for example, drag in this collider 
make sure that it is placed in properly. And here it will make the fluid collide. Then option to create a vortex or like a spiral shape. So here you can move it around. You can set the range of the vortex and you can see it, the higher the strength is there, the faster it's gonna spin, right? And the next one is the turbulence. It will apply like a random velocity field to our fluid. The scale here is the scale of the noise. So the smaller it is, the you can see the larger the noise shape would be. And when you add when the scale value is increased, you can see that the, the noise is like really integrated in a way. And the last node is this Q domain, because here you can see the operation in this prop bag go from left to right, right? So here every operation are basically simply next to each other, right? So there is no, there will be no problem. But if you, for example, want to add another fluid, right? You create like a branch. So the problem here is that Right, this branch is domain doesn't get connected to the renderer. Even though you didn't connect the domain, you as you can see, it will still be rendered. But it can have a problem with an order of rendering or order of operation. If you want to make sure that you add this to fluid before you apply this velocity, then it's better to add in this queue domain. Which this queue domain will basically allow you to queue up multiple branch of domain and then connect it back in this node chain. So now we can make sure that this two add fluid node will run before and then we just queue up here. And then we will apply velocity and then update and then render. Now the output of the fluid sim is just a white surface with different alpha values. Right? If you want to color your fluid, right, you can then put your output here into some node, like for example, alpha to gray to convert it to grayscale, and then use colorize node to apply gradient mapping into the grayscale values. And that's it for today's tutorial. The project file link will be in the description. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.